Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about pre-diabetes complication, prevention and diet. So if you like the video related to my health, my way, I would like to request you all, please to subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon or give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin, let's go. Pre-diabetes complication. Without treatment, pre-diabetes can become type 2 diabetes or cause other serious problems including kidney disease, blindness, high blood pressure, nerve problems, peripheral neuropathy, loss of limb, treatment to reverse prediabetes, take these steps to treat prediabetes. Then eat a healthy diet and lose weight. Losing even 5% to 10% of your weight can make a huge difference. Exercise, pick something you enjoy like walking, try to get at least 30 minutes a day. Five days a week, you can start with less time and work your way up to a half hour if you need to. Check with your doctors before you do more than that. So stop smoking. Get your blood sugar or blood pressure or co and cholesterol under control. Take medication like metformin, glucophage to lower your blood sugar if you're at high risk of diabetes. Now, is there a pre-diabetes diet? There is no official diet, but for swaps can reverse pre-diabetes and lower your chances of getting type 2 diabetes. Choose whole grains and uh, whole grain product over processed carb like white bread potatoes and uh, breakfast cereals, drink coffee water and tea instead of sugary drink. Choose good fat like those in vegetable oil, nuts and seeds over those in mad grain, baked good and fried food. Trade red meat and processed meat for nut, whole grains, poultry and fish. Then it comes to pre-diabetes and prevention. Exercising and eating food low in carbohydrate, sugar, fat and salt can also help prevent pre-diabetes. Other tips include don't smoke. Don't have more than one alcoholic drink a day. Take blood sugar medication as your doctor prescribed. Now, how to stop pre-diabetes in its track? When your doctor tells you that you have pre-diabetes, you might think there is no reason to take action just yet. Or you might assume that you are definitely going to get diabetes. Not so. You do need to take pre-diabetes seriously, but there is still time to turn things around. If you start now, the goal is to get your blood sugar level out of the pre-diabetes range and keep it that way. What you do every day makes a big difference, making lifestyle changes maybe even more powerful than just taking medication. That's what happened in the last study called the Diabetes Prevention Program. People with pre-diabetes who lost a small amount of weight through diet and exercise cut their odds of getting type 2 diabetes by 58% compared to 31% for people who only took the prescription drug metformin. Now, the start by making these three changes. The first one, lose extra weight. If you are overweight, slimming down is a key to turning the odd in your favor. Research shows that shedding just 5 to 10% of your body weight is often enough to get blood sugar level back into the normal range and avoid diabetes or at least delay its onset. To reach your goal, limit portion size, cut calories, or eat fewer food that are high in fat, especially saturated fat, sugar, and carbohydrate. You should also eat a wide variety of fruit, vegetable, lean protein, and whole grain. Then it comes to make exercise a habit. Leading an active life is a must aim for 30 minutes of aerobic activity, something that raises your heart rate like walking, biking, or swimming five days a week, 150 minutes per week plus. Do some strength training exercise like lifting weight or using resistant band at least twice a day, twice a week. Strength work build muscle, which help lower your blood sugar level, help your body respond better to insulin, which control blood sugar or burns calories even when you are not moving. Then it comes to if you smoke, stop. Smoking is strongly linked to diabetes. People who smoke are 30 to 40 percent more likely to develop type 2 diabetes than those who don't. And people with diabetes who continue smoking are more likely to develop complications such as heart disease and blindness. So the sooner you ditch the cigarette, the better. When you need medication, while lifestyle changes can work wonder. Some people with pre-diabetes also need medication. Your doctor may prescribe metformin. If you have certain risk factors such as a low level of HDL, which is good, cholesterol, high triglycerides, a type of blood, fat, a parent or sibling with diabetes or are overweight. If you take metformin, you will need to follow up with your doctor. You all need also need to Keep up a healthy lifestyle, take action now and ask for extra help. 
from your doctor, nutritionist or personal trainer if you need it. So that's all about the diabetes in this video. I hope you all liked it. So for all of you, I prepared a small presentation that will be going to share in the description box below. You can check it out from there. So before signing off, I would like to request you all please do like, share, subscribe this video with the loved ones so that they will get to know better. So this is Carrie Anderson signing off. We will definitely meet you in the next video with another content. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye and take care of yourself.